Cloud storage for your photos is one of the best ways to enjoy, share and back up all of those photos and videos. In this video, I'm going to talk you through the best cloud storage for your photos, leaving out the tech speak and focusing on the features and functionality. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Cloud storage for your photos is something I am passionate about. And not only does it keep them safe as part of your backup strategy, but it means you can easily find and share your photos to make your friends and family totally jealous. Knowing which one is best for you can be a little bit tricky. So I gave you my wise words back in 2021 for the best cloud storage for your photos. But a year is a long time and things, they are always a change in. So it's time for an update with the best cloud storage for your photos 2022. In this video, I am going to focus on five key areas that are all about your photos. There is features. What fancy stuff does it have to help you find and enjoy your photos? The usability. Do they have apps? Does it keep the folder structure you might have made? And also the level of maintenance that you are going to have to do to keep it pretty. Sharing. How shareable is it? But also how easy is it to leave your photos as a legacy? The functionality, does it actually back up your photos? Can you auto sync from your phone? And how easy is it to get your photos out of those apps? And then finally, price. How much does it cost and for how much storage? Is there a service that is not on my list? Drop me a comment below and I can add it to future reviews. But for now, let's get stuck in. Google Photos. Google Photos is a great option for your photos, especially if you are an Android user looking to back up your photos from your phone. When it comes to features, Google Photos has everything. It's got facial recognition, it's got a list of locations you've taken your photos, and you can search for it by words like beach or bull or whatever the AI has found for you. So it's pretty good when it comes to finding and sharing your photos. Google Photos has an app as it does for pretty much everything in the Google world. And the app pretty much works exactly the same way as the web app. So you can search and do pretty much everything. Unfortunately, Google Photos does not maintain any folder structure that you might have sorted your photos into, but you can create albums to keep an eye on any events that you have sorted into, but that's about it. When it comes to the level of maintenance, Google Photos has a cute little feature where it recommends photos that you might want to archive, like old receipts or random screenshots, which is great if you want to keep your photo collection clean. But with the AI, you can also search for photos, so you could pretty much leave your Google Photos loading up from your phone and just use the search feature to enjoy your photos. From a sharing point of view, Google Photos gets four stars because you can share your entire photo catalogue with only one partner. So big wisely. Beyond that, you have to share folders or individual photos. When it comes to leaving a legacy of your photos, you can leave an inactive account manager who has access to all your data when your account has been unused for a set period of time. And that covers all of your Google data. So when it comes to legacy, it is pretty darn good. For functionality, Google Photos is a backup service, but also a sync service. So if you want to access your photos across different devices, it will also sync across all those different devices. But it will also load up photos from your phone as a backup service with auto sync. And so it will keep them safe and sound. If you don't know what the difference between backup and sync is, then check out my other video on cloud storage and what it means above. When it comes to getting out your photos, this is where Google Photos comes up short with only three stars. Although you can get everything out of Google Photos or download any of your Google data using Google Takeout, if you want to get everything out, it will give you multiple very annoying zip files that you then have to extract everything from. So it can be a little like hard work. When it comes to price, Google Photos is pretty comparable against all the big players. So it gets a top five stars. You are obviously limited to the storage plan you have. So if you are paying for 100 gigabytes, that's all you're going to get across all of your Google access, including your files 
and photos. Amazon Photos. Amazon Photos is still something that a lot of people forget about and don't realize is part of their Amazon Prime membership. Yes, you get unlimited photo storage if you have Amazon Prime. When it comes to features, Amazon Photos has pretty much everything. It's got facial recognition, it's got locations, and it's also got searchable function that the AI has searched for, like beach or sunset. So when it comes to features, it has it all. When it comes to usability, Amazon Photos has both an Android and an iPhone app. However, if you've seen the iPhone one, it is a little bit confusing and takes a while to work out how to search with the random selections at the bottom. So I am not a big fan of it. When it comes to keeping your folder structure, this is where the bad news comes. Amazon Drive, which was one of my favorite features when it comes to Amazon Photos, which is like an explorer for your Amazon Photos, is being discontinued. So as of next year, it will no longer be available. So you won't be able to see the folder structure behind your Amazon Photos, which makes me so sad. When it comes to maintenance of your Amazon Photos archive, you could just let it do its thing and just keep loading up from your phone as you can search through the screenshots and stuff like that with the search function. When it comes to sharing, Amazon Photos still gets a full five stars because you can link multiple devices into one account which will load up automatically all of their photos from that phone to that account. So if you want to see your other half's wonderful photos on a daily basis, they don't need to intervene and share any of them. You can just see it through auto upload. When it comes to leaving a legacy of your photos, there is no way of providing a legacy contact or giving someone access. So don't forget to give them your password. When it comes to functionality, Amazon Photos is a backup and sync. So it will take all of your photos and back them up to the cloud and sync that across all of your devices. Amazon Photos also has auto sync function from your phone so you don't have to remember to back up your photos. When it comes to getting your photos out, Amazon gets four stars. With the loss of Amazon Drive, you will have to use the desktop app, which is not as easy as Amazon Drive, but you can still get it out in a couple of clicks. From a price point of view, with the new price increases for Amazon Prime, Amazon Photos is not as great a value as it used to be, so it only gets three stars. Also, there is potentially added cost as you are limited to the level of free video storage to five gigabytes, then you have to start paying. So unfortunately, with the changes of Amazon Photos, it is not as great as it used to be. Sorry. Apple Photos. So it is a little bit obvious to say that Apple Photos is only for those iPhone and Mac users out there. So if you're an Android and PC user, feel free to skip this one. For features, when it comes to Apple Photos, it is fair to say that Apple are pretty darn good at this. They have all the favorites of facial recognition, location map, and it's totally searchable by any of the keywords that the AI has found in your photos, as well as some epic memory features. So, Apple is pretty good. For usability, obviously the phone app is top notch. So I'm not going to bang on about it, but obviously it also does not maintain any folder structure that you may have done when you've been sorting your photos outside of Apple. But when it comes to a level of maintenance, you can just leave it without doing any sorting if you want. Because did you know that Apple Photos actually curates your photos depending on how you are looking at them? So. If you are looking at all photos, you will see everything. The receipts, the random screenshots, and all of your lovely, beautiful photos. But if you go down to years, month, and days, it will curate your photos and hide all of those dud photos. So it does mean if you want to clear out your photos, make sure you're looking at all photos to get those dud photos. When it comes to shareability, this is where Apple has finally moved into the world of proper sharing with iOS 16, so it now gets a solid four stars, as I have high hopes. As they have moved beyond just sharing albums, you can now share your entire library with people so you can see all of your other house photos easily. However, you can only be part of one shared library, so pick wisely. 
When it comes to leaving a legacy, you can set up a legacy contact where they will have an access code that they can use to access your Apple account data for up to three years. When it comes to functionality, this is where a big warning has to come. Apple iCloud is a syncing service. So if you delete a photo from your phone, it will delete from everywhere. So for a backup solution, Apple iCloud is not your option. For getting your photos out of Apple, it has become a little bit easier and there are apps out there like Photo Takeout to make it easier, but it's still not easy. Apple likes to keep your stuff. So for the ability to get photos out of Apple Photos, it still only gets three stars and that is pretty generous. From a price point of view, Apple Photos still gets a full five stars and it's still totally comparable with Google Photos. OneDrive. In my last video, I put OneDrive and Dropbox together as their functionality and offering was pretty similar. Well, times they have moved on and OneDrive is coming into its own when it comes to photos. For features, OneDrive is trying, but still a little bit lacking. It has no facial recognition, but on the web app, you can view your photos by location that you took them. You can also view by any tags that you've done, but it will require a little bit of maintenance to get that to work. OneDrive has a super basic phone app where you can basically view your photos and of course your files. OneDrive obviously does maintain your folder structure that it may have loaded up into, but obviously you will only be able to search by the names or the tags. From a maintenance point of view, if you want to keep your beautiful folder structure, you will need to do a little bit of work on a monthly basis to sort and get rid of those duds. When it comes to shareability, it's just normal OneDrive. So you can give someone a link where they can view, edit and load photos. So OneDrive gets a decent five stars. For leaving your legacy, there is no legacy contact option. So you will need to pass on your login details to someone else. For functionality, OneDrive is both a backup and sync service. So if you want to access all of your stuff from different locations, you can totally do that. But it will also back up with an auto sync function from your phone. So your photos are super safe. When it comes to getting stuff out, because OneDrive is all about file sharing and downloading, you can easily get your stuff out so it gets a solid five stars. When it comes to price, this is where the world has changed quite significantly. OneDrive is now in the realm of a full five stars. If you're using Office 365 with one terabyte of OneDrive, it comes up cheaper than both Apple and Google. So considering you get Microsoft Office with it, it is totally worth checking out. Dropbox. While OneDrive has made some improvements in their photo offering and cost, Dropbox has made what can only be described as a centimeter of movement in a year. For features, Dropbox continues to have a big fat nothing. No facial recognition, no locations, no keyword searching, nothing. The best they have tried is to give you a separate section for photos in your folder structure, but you can only see types. So whether it's a photo or video, any favorites, as well as search for any tagging that you may have done. So it's pretty dismal. For usability, Dropbox does have a phone app that you can use to find your photos that will maintain your folder structure, which obviously you will have to do a little bit of maintenance on to keep beautiful. Dropbox, like OneDrive, was set up to share files, so they work in exactly the same way. You can create a link and people can then have viewer or editor access so they can load photos up. So it gets a solid five stars like OneDrive. There is also upload from your phone through the app, so also pretty good. For leaving your legacy, this is another one you're gonna have to share your login details for so others can get access. Nothing more fancy than that. Dropbox is another one of those lovely backup and sync options. So you can back up your photos from your phone with an auto sync function, but you can also sync across all of your devices so you can enjoy all of your lovely files and photos wherever you may be with internet access. When it comes to getting your photos out, it still gets a full five stars because you can sync to your computer and download them all in one simple file. When it comes to cost, this is where Dropbox is a one star option. 
because the price plans are not really set up for low levels of storage. It goes from 100 gigabytes and jumps straight to two terabytes. I know we all like taking a lot of photos, but two terabytes is a shed load of storage and therefore pretty pricey for most people. Smug Monk. Now, Smug Mug is a bit of a unique offering, and the reason I like to talk about it from a photo's point of view is because when it comes to leaving a legacy, it is top notch. It does require some work, so it is not for everyone, but bear with me. For features, Smug Mug is not going to light photo app lovers' worlds on fire. It does not have facial recognition, it has no location map, and it's only searchable by keywords if you spend the time putting those keywords in the background. So when it comes to features, it's not overly great. Smug Mug has a great phone app that you can search and find all of your photos, especially if you've done that keywording to make them searchable. It maintains your beautiful folder structure that you have spent so much time creating, but to maintain it and any keywording, you are going to have to be a fan of maintenance. Sharing and your legacy is where Smug Mug is the best in class. You can use Smug Mug to create a quick and amazing website to share your photo legacy with your family, which you can password protect to keep secure. I love, love, love this. So they get a full five stars. And really, it should be six. For sharing that legacy, you can share links with family, but for an admin to have access to your account, you will need to share your account details with someone. For functionality, Smug Mug is a backup and sync option. But what most people don't realize is that you can auto backup from your phone to a private folder in your Smug Mug account. So it won't muck up your beautiful website, but your photos are totally backed up. And it will also auto backup from a folder on your computer if you download the computer app. To get all your photos out, there is no one tick option to be able to get everything. So you would have to go into each gallery to be able to get everything out. So it gets a solid four stars for getting stuff out. For Smug Mug, pricing is pretty comparable to the other cloud storage options. And as a bonus, you get unlimited storage of both photos and videos. Epic. So if you haven't checked out Smug Mug before for your photo legacy, it is definitely worth checking out. When it comes to the best cloud storage for your photos, for me, if you're an Android user, I would definitely check out Google Photos. And if you're an Apple Photo user, with the new improvements around shareability, Apple Photos is a solid option, as long as you want to stay in Apple. What cloud storage do you use for your photos? Have I missed any that you swear by? Drop me a comment below. Are you still confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.